So this is how to uh, cal calibrate and also set up your output for a Foxboro IGB-10 A22 0 to 3000 uh, pressure transmitter. Um, it's very similar for all the different models, makes and models. The menu setup is, is very similar for the analog output. Heart's a little bit different, but a lot of this is very similar. So we're starting out with a brand new pressure transmitter. I've got it just sitting here. Um, it's out of the box. It's never been calibrated. Um, you can see that it thinks I'm at negative 2 or 3 PSI because it has not been calibrated at 0 yet. So what we're going to do is there's only next and enter. In measurement mode, you just hit next to go into your into your menu. First one is calibrate, which is nice because that's the first you want that's what the menu you want to go into. And so you go into it by hitting enter. And the first thing there is cal at zero. So you can block it off with a valve and make sure it's zero if it's in service, or you can have it like this, atmospheric pressure, and it is zero PSI. So you want to enter. And notice how fast it is. It goes, okay, I'm resetting the sensor at zero right now. I just hit next. And there's these other options that you normally don't mess with. Keep hitting next until you hit save. You see save because you want to save these settings that you put in that menu. Enter. Saving. So all those settings you did, it's actually putting in there. And you should be at zero PSI now. Okay, now we want to go and configure the output. So this isn't changing your sensor settings or your calibration at all. It's just setting what your output's going to be. And this is a zero to 3,000 PSI uh, transmitter. So our range, our output for the 4 to 20 output should be within zero to 3,000. There we go. So out of the box, normally these are just zero to 3,000 output, but um, let's say you want zero to 1,000. You know, it's within the total range. So you wanna go into the config, just hit enter. Output direction, don't worry about that, is forward, meaning um, it doesn't go, you know, we're not flip-flopping the four to 20. Output mode, it's just giving you, it's just a linear. If you were doing, um, some kind of uh, level where the tank is not linear or um, you know a square root uh, output, you can change that here. Normally linear is what you want. Output fail, you can fail high or fail low. This one's failing high, so it'll say 20 milliamp. Damping, you could dampen it. This normally has no damping. Uh, most people don't mess with damping, but you can put a few seconds in there if the pressure is moving around a lot. Uh, display um, engineering units, use EGU, which means what you've already said in the calibration. So this one is PSI, you can change that to inches of water column or whatever. So now we're at EGU lower range value and it's saying your lower range value is all zeros, meaning Four milliamp output is zero PSI. So that's what we want. We just scroll through here. And you just use the next button to change these numbers if you want to change this. Decimal point, you can change that. So now here's where most people will actually make a change if you don't want 3,000 PSI on this model. Notice, there it is, zero to 3,000 is the output. So we just hit enter and go to the three, and let's say we wanted zero to 1,000 to be the output for the four to 20 signal. We just hit next until we see one, and you have to press on the button nice and slow. You can't go fast with it. Now it's one, so we just hit enter, so now we've set the upper range to 1,000, and we can actually, if we let's say it was 100, and we wanted a decimal that decimal place of one, then we would set a decimal here with the next button and say, okay, it's 100 point whatever for our upper range. 
but normally people are just whole values and they don't care about the point. Uh, but you can make the display give you some decimal points if it's really tight pressure uh, measurement. Okay. So you see cancel, you don't want to cancel that. You want to hit next, don't hit enter because that'll in cancel all that out and you'll have to start over, over again and it won't do it, it won't set the output. So you hit next, which takes you to save. Now you say enter, yes, I want to save that. So it gives you kind of what this is and then it goes back to measurement mode and that's it. So zero out your transmitter when you first put it in because every time you install a pressure transmitter, the position will affect the PSI, the, the atmospheric pressure affects the PSI, the process affects the zero PSI, if there's air in there, if, you know, it just depends on what's going on. So you always zero your transmitter when you install it or calibrate it. And then um, set your output, and that's really all you do with a new install. And uh, Foxboro pressure transmitters have these displays. Make sure you ask for the display, and you don't have to have a configurator, no handheld, nothing. You just do those few button pushes and you're golden, you're good to go. Uh, there's also heart versions of this where you can plug in and uh, use a heart communicator if you wanted to, but a lot of technicians love just opening this thing up in a non-classified area, of course, ventilated area in case it's an explosive environment, and um, just do everything on the two, uh, the two buttons, and you're good to go. You can get, it, once you understand the menu, menu stream, you can go in here, and if you're doing a bunch of them, doing calibrations or something, you can just boom, 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 get them done quickly and no handheld needed and good to go. That's it. Thanks. Bye.